Hi guys, Dr. Linda Kramer. Thank you so much for watching today. Okay, how did I cure my brain tumor? Some of you may not know, I've had a lot of injuries during my life, okay? Um, my mum tells stories that when I was a baby back in the 90, late 1960s, I was born in 66, she said there was times there where she was taking me to hospital and I was blue in the car, not breathing. So I've always been a sickly child. I was in and out of hospital a lot until I was about two. Um, the big things that have happened is when I was 20, I was in a car accident and I broke my neck. Um, that night, um, well, it was actually the next night, an angel appeared in front of me and cured me. And she said, you can go home, you're well. So in the morning, I got up, I got myself out of, because I had all these things on my neck with bolts and stuff, like a traction thing. And I walked out to the nurse station and I said, I'm going home now. And she virtually fainted in front of me because I I was a quadriplegic. Um, I still get neck dramas, obviously. I need massages all the time. Um, I've got um, a lot of neck issues. But I've got a broken neck, but I'm not a quadriplegic. As you can see, I walk around, I dance every day. I don't get fed through tracheoctomy in the throat. Um, when my daughter was two, I had a interesting event, which I don't like talking about this one because it is female trouble. So guys, if you're watching this, any males, please know this is what happens to females. Um, I got pneumonia when my daughter was about one and with all the coughing from the pneumonia all my insides fell out um, it's called a prolapse and mine was about six inches and I had that for over a year until I could get time off work to have an operation when I went in for the operation the doctors did a full hysterectomy and they also had to take out my liver and bladder and some other bits and re-sew them all in. <laughs> wow. Um, so I saw the doctors after this operation and they said that I'd had 600 and 216 internal stitches, if that tells you something, 216 internal stitches. And they actually told me how they did it because I've got no stitch, I've got no evidence on my tummy that supports that I've ever had, uh, there's no scarring or anything to say that I've ever had this operation. Wow. <laughs> so I've had that. That took me six months to relearn how to walk, by the way, because you couldn't walk after all that drama to your stomach, right? It took me six months to actually start walking around again. Um, but then in 2017, I um, had tree loppers here and they were cutting down this huge tree in my backyard so I was standing over the other side of my yard just watching at the time I was a first aid trainer so I thought well I'll use my experience if they hurt each other didn't realize it was going to be me that needed medical help but this rogue branch from nowhere and I always say this was a sign by the way because how did this happen I'm sure the angels intervened to make this occur. This branch, it would have been about this round, and it was about eight foot long. It just swung because the guys had ropes and everything, so how the hell did it move 30 foot across the yard is another thing that just amazes me. And they even said it should, shouldn't happen the way that they had ropes and everything connected to all the branches. But this rogue branch came straight and hit me in the side of the head. I had water coming out of my head. I'm sorry, I had blood coming out of my head. So I went up to the doctor and I had a CT scan. The CT scan showed that I had an 11 by 9 millimeter tumor on the other side of my head, over here, on the right side. This is my right hand here, by the way. So I had to go and have an MRI and the MRI came back saying you've got a brain tumor do not ever google brain tumors I did big mistake 
because I went into shock. My body shut down for a couple of hours. I was physically shaking. I did the biggest poo I've ever done, which, hello, that's a sign of shock because our body evacuates what we don't need in it because it's shutting down, it wants to survive. So it gets rid of all... That's why people vomit when they see something bad because um, it's our natural way of getting rid of anything in our body that we don't need, like stomach contents and bowel contents. So that's why you do poo yourself or vomit when you see something bad, okay? So, yeah, don't don't Google what's a brain tumour. So six months later, I had to go back and have another MRI to see if it was growing or whatever and there it was so six months after that I had to go back and I decided that's not going to happen so I started my own healing treatment without medical intervention so when I went back for my third MRI the doctor's holding my report. He's looking at me weird. And he said, where did it go? I started laughing. <laughs> and he said, well, I'm serious. Where did it go? Because you've had two CTs, a CT and two MRIs. Where did it go? And I said, I know, but you're not going to like it. I said, one, I did not have surgery because, hello, look at my hair. <laughs> you can see I hadn't had surgery and two I started doing my own healing so the doctor asked me what I did and that's what I wish to explain today what I did how did I heal myself including my neck okay so the first thing I had a stalker a few months ago I don't know if you're still stalking my page hello my stalker who lives in Sydney if it's you he said to me one day how do you do all this stuff and you never give proof okay I've shown the proof of when I died but you know I've just dug out some of these here's all my x-rays right here's one look at the pile of x-rays and you can see it's me hello I'm open okay so this one says it's me oh it's got my address on there too oh shivers why did I just show that okay so this is from the 26th of the 11th 2018 okay so this is one of my MR, MRIs films. Look, you can see how much there's bloody in there. Okay, look, you can see that they're MRIs. Okay, all right. I'm not going to show you because I just don't want to look at it, which is part of my healing. So there's one. There's two. Oh my God. There's three. There's four. Oh my gosh. There's five. Oh my god. There's six. So this one says MRI spine. Now this one has uh, anything on there that's going to give me away. I'll just hide that bit. There you go. So there you go. It says MRI. MRI spine is clearly on there. Okay, MRI spine. Okay. Oh my god, look at the thickness of this one. Holy shivers. This is a huge one. Okay, it's even got the disc in it. Okay, it's got the disc. Oh, I don't mind showing you. There's my PO box number if you ever want to write me a letter. Okay, so that's um stuff that's in this one holy shivers look at all the films in this one okay heaps of films in that one all right so that's mine as well okay here's another one oh my god you can what you can understand why i don't like getting these out of the cupboard right oh my god what is this one here for okay all right so throw that one in there okay so oh my god okay so as you can see i've got a lot now this is just the first pile i've found today i've got more in the cupboard but this is just the pile i've pulled out they're all mine <laughs> so to my stalker who says show me your x-rays and your bloody mris hope you're happy okay all right 
because now I've got to go find them a new home where I don't like looking at it. So let's go into healing. How did I heal myself of all this? There's a few things here I want to point out today. A diff couple of different techniques. Because the first thing I've got to tell you all guys is that we all have to find what works for ourselves. If you look at the word Reiki, they can teach you how to do Reiki, right? To become a Reiki master. But we all incorporate our own technique of how we do it. So today, the first thing I must tell you all is don't just do it the way I've done this. I want you to find out your own way that works, okay? So let's just go there first with the first of, there's two techniques I'm going to teach today, okay? The first technique is the I am's. So you've got to wait for the second one, okay? Because I'm going to teach you both today in this video. The first one is the I am's. Now, I love listening to people like Dr. Joe Dispenza. So go research him if you want to. Because I do. I love him. He's even not too bad on the I, right? I like listening to him because what he says is that our neuroplasticity in the brain creates new synapses networks, which is our memories, okay, based on what we do as a routine. Now, these synaptic networks of our brain, which are our memories, it's on a cellular um, level where we create our own reality. Very interesting. Now, if you look at science, they say that all our bodily cells, our physical makeup through the Bose-Higgs, which are our cellular physical network that we can see, or observe, I should say, it's all replaceable every so often. I can't remember the exact time here. I'm not going to quote what I don't remember, okay, because I know I know so much stuff that I forget it all. So it is very proven that our own cellular network of created physical being does regenerate and regrow cells every so often. I think it's every seven years our whole body replaces itself. And that's why you wake up with dead cells or dead skin and stuff all through your house, right? Okay, so what does this mean when we talk about healing ourselves? It means the more we create memories, uh -uh, memories are past events, right? So if we create past events now, so they're in the past, in our future, those memories will create what we want. Huh. So if I say today, I am, huh, here we go, healthy, fit, young, rich, spoiled, I am tired, oh my god, if you, ever tr if you ever need to go to sleep, keep saying I am tired, I am sleepy, I am sleep, I am tired, because the brain knows what tired means and it creates it so you go to sleep. If I say right now I am hungry, I can feel my tummy churning because of hunger pains. I am hungry. I want... Did you hear it? My stomach just grumbled. I'm, I'm not joking. I, it just did it. Oh my God. I don't know if you heard it. I hope it did catch it on the microphone, okay? But this is true. This is how it works. So if we say to ourselves, I am healthy, I am fit, I am strong, I am able to walk a kilometre today, I am able to sleep, I am able to eat, I am, I am, I am. So the more we talk about injuries, the more we talk about pains, the more we talk about what's wrong with us, the more we're creating them. You look at anybody who says, what are you doing today? And they say, oh, I've got to go to the doctors. I've got a doctor's appointment at 10 o'clock. I've got this issue. 
How sick are they? They're always sick, yeah? Because they're constantly thinking about going to the doctors. They're constantly thinking about having to get prescriptions filled, having their medications. They're constantly thinking about all this stuff. I'm now 56 years old and I blow my doctors out of the water every time I go over to see him because I only go for one thing once a month I need a prescription for heartburn pills. He says, what about your blood pressure? What about this? Do you need pills for that? Do you need pills for that? And I look at him like, what are you trying to inflict me with here? I'm not, I'm not having any of that. I'm not, I don't have that. I don't have that. I'm not having that because I am healthy. I am fit. I am young. I'm not 56 years old. I always tell people I'm still 36 years old after I die. So what I'd like you all to do is get some post-it notes. Here's a post-it note. I keep this around the house. Make more. I am with dot, dot, dot. Because you fill in the blank. Now, just don't do one post-it note. Stick one on your computer monitor. Stick one in your car. Stick one on your fridge. Stick one on your front door. Stick one behind the door in your toilet. Stick one beside your bed. Because the more we say our I am's, I am healthy, I am fit, I am strong. It doesn't matter if we believe it or not. Our brain creates it through the neuroplasticity of our brain and the synaptic network making this a memory where it's saying, oh, she's healthy today. She's healthy today. Huh, she's healthy today. So the next week, guess what? Does that synaptics, that synapsis gets larger and larger because you're saying, I am healthy, I am healthy, I am healthy. And so it starts here and it gets bigger, bigger, bigger within our brain. And then we are healthy. So the more we say, I am healthy, I am strong, I am fit. I am able to run 10 kilometers today. The more we say that to ourselves, the more we create this. It's physically possible to cure injuries by just saying, I am. Okay? I am. I've got a naysayer. Oh my God. Now this person is a religious freak. Funny. Because she hasn't been well. And I say to her all the time, why do you keep talking about what you're doing, what you're going through? You start saying the I am's, you use my next technique because my next technique is a doozy. You keep doing all this and the more we create it in our, in our synaptic network, the more you won't be sick. I, I am a walking quadriplegic every single day. I am a talking, breathing human being who's not dead from a brain tumour. Because I believe in the power of our thoughts. This lady cut me down, this person. And she said, oh, wow. Oh, I don't want to tell you what she said. Very, very sarcastic. But then I said, I said to myself, I don't need to reply to her anymore. Because she's a very religious person. So she's not got an issue with me. Her issue is with God. Her issue is that she hasn't been healed by God himself. Wow. So she hasn't got a grudge with me at all. Because I'm just a mortal thing that's going to die at some point again. <laughs> Pardon me. She's got a big grudge with God not curing her. So we've got to get over that as well. Don't blame God for not curing you because we've got that within ourselves to cure ourselves by creating the synaptic network of health. And it's proven through science that our cells regenerate. And, you know, you look at our cellular, cellular, cellular network. It's made up of atoms. And what's an atom made of? Protons, electrons and neurons negative positive and neutral energy the more we live in negative energy now that lady she was attacking me pretty bad she lives in a very negative vibrational state and i send her love for that and say i hope and pray that you get out of that state because you're only hurting yourself 
she's never going to hurt me because I don't live in that vibrational state. Okay? So if we do want to help ourselves, guys, we've got to start with ourselves. We've got to look at what we do. It's like someone coming up to you and saying, oh, don't eat that. That's really bad for your health. So you go home and you research and you find out this thing, wow, that's really bad for my health. Are you going to keep eating it? I hope you're going to say no. Because the more we do things that we know is bad for us, the more we're spiraling into decline of health, whether it's mental health or physical health. So if you seriously today want to get out of this rut, write three letters with some dot dot dots on a piece of paper and sticky tape this all around your house <laughs> because the more we say it the more it comes true I am healthy I am fit I am strong I am rich I am empowered I am stamina I am confident I am happy. I am living my best life ever. I am whatever you want to be. So there's my first one, okay? Second one. Now, this is going to take some effort. This one's easy, okay? Who would have thought this was so easy? They'll never tell you this when you go to the doctors, will they? <laughs> Follow the money trails, okay? So let's go there with my second technique. How did I cure this guy? How did I cure this guy? How did I cure my tummy? One, I was doing this, but let's go into number two. Number two. I went home after that second MRI. Pretty upset that it was there and it's now confirmed after two MRIs and a CT scan. I said, no way, get stuffed, get out of me. You're not, I give you no right, no permission to get out of me. So that's part of the I am's, by the way. Tell your sicknesses and everything else to nick off. You have no right to be on me because I am healthy, fit, strong, rich, beautiful, loving, kind, young. Okay? Next one. Let's go into it. What did I physically do? Now, this one takes work, guys. Please know, if you want to try this, you got to keep it going and you got to keep it keep it going I had a man that used to come here called Bill Bill was in his 60s quite obese he rang me up and said Linda I'd like to try your healing can I please come over I said yes so he pulled up in his car and his son was with him his son got out a wheelchair, brought it to the car. Bill got in the wheelchair and in came Bill in a wheelchair. He told me that he hadn't walked in over six years. So with the son's help, we got him onto my massage table where he was laying down. And I did what I'm going to treat teachers all today. They put him back, you know, me and the son put him back on the wheel, um, in the wheelchair. He went home. He was only here for an hour. Pardon me. The next week he came back for another hour. Same thing again. Got in the wheelchair, came inside. Pardon me. The next week Bill came again. This time he opened the door and actually stood up out of the car. He had a crutch and a walking frame. And I said, mate, do you want some help? He said, no, I'm here alone today. So the son was not even with him. He said, I'm here today with my, with, by myself. I'm going to come in. I'm going to walk to your front door with the aid of my walking stick and my crutch. And he came. The following week after that was the same. The following week after that was the same again. The last time I ever saw Bill, he pulled up in his red car got out of the car and as he came to the house he was skipping to my front door 
He said, Linda, this is the last time I need to see you. He moved down the coast. He said he walks every day on the beach. For a man in a wheelchair who hadn't walked in many years, how the hell did I help him? Let's go there. Ready? When I got told about this, first thing I did was, Nick off, you've got no right, no permission to be on me. But does that really work? It gets rid of that energy, yes. And as we know, atoms are made of protons, neutrons, electrons, which is all energy, right? So the more we tell it to nick off, but then we're talking about it. So you don't want to talk about it. You say, I am healthy. I have no place in my head for this to be there. Nick off. We never say the word unhealthy. We never say the S-I-C-K word. So instead of saying, how are you today? You don't say, oh, I'm sick, I'm going to the doctor. You say, I am getting better. I am getting better. I am getting healthy today. I am on a road to recovery today. Okay? So I sat on my bed and I thought about the word Reiki. I have never, I've, this is a disclaimer, I have never studied Reiki. I have never been to a Reiki consultant or a Reiki master. I've never integrated with anyone who has who calls themselves a Reiki professional, okay? I've had friends who sort of do it, but they're doing their own thing. Now, this is what I told you all at the beginning. It's how we create this to be ourselves, our, our own. And that's why I like with the I am's. You put your own words there, what you want to be, right? Don't just listen to mine. Make up your own little things of what to say, right? Your little mantra, okay? So what I did, as I was sitting on the bed and I was thinking, well, I don't want this in my head. You're out of here. I thought about putting my hands on the side of my head like this. And as I closed my eyes, I imagined it was like a astronaut helmet. You know the white helmet that astronauts wear? So it went all the way around me. And in this white helmet, like an astronaut helmet, I put all white energy, like a white light. I turned my head into a big light bulb. And as my hands were here and I could see, feel my aura, my energy, now, I've got to tell you guys, have you noticed what's just happened? My eyes have just started watering, which happens when I do energy work. Look, I'm not lying. Look, I've got tears coming down my face. Okay. So as I put my hands around my head, and I was saying to myself, I am filling myself with this huge white energy wall ball about me. This big energy bubble. It's like a big light bulb around my head. All this energy. And as I closed my eyes and I thought about the colour white. So I was visualising something that was white. And I imagined this all the way around my head. All the way around my head like a big ball. Like an astronaut's helmet around my head. And then from one hand to the other and then from this hand to that one. I was putting through like these bright blue streaks of lightning. Plum, plum, plum. All these streaks of lightning. Now, I don't know why I was thinking about blue, but when I saw a spirit guide once, you know, the pterodactyl that I had in my backyard, um, I've got an interesting video called How I, How Do I See Spirit Guides? Go find that one because I talk about the um, pterodactyl. When he left, he turned into this big bright blue streak across my backyard. So I was imagining, now this was years before I ever saw spirit guides, right? And it's funny how even when I died, the blue orbs in the house, they were bright blue orbs, right? So I was imagining all this bright blue, like electricity going through my head. And I was saying, please cure me. I am healthy. So I was doing my I am's at the same time as doing this huge energy ball. You know, like the Tesla energized he does those electricity balls, right? You touch it and it goes all... Doo -doo -doo -doo. I was doing that, creating that around me. And I was saying, I have no place in my life for illnesses. I cast you all out. You have no right, no permission to stay in me. My head is now clear. 
My head is clear. There is nothing within me. I do not entertain this, for I am healthy. I am fit. I am young. I am healthy. I am fit. I am young. So as I lie on the bed and I'm putting my hands around and I'm feeling this big white bubble of energy around my head, I thought, I feel great. I am great. I feel great. Huh. I feel safe. I feel calm. I am peace. Because even though I was saying those words, still as a mantra of the I am's, I was creating that within my head. I was taking away the stress, the anxiety. I was taking away the nervousness of being to the doctors. I was taking away all that negative emotion, which is ultimately negative energy. And I was imagining this big white ball of white light around me passing through my head. I don't know if you've ever seen Kaplunk, the game. It's like a cylinder with all holes in it and you put all the sticks through it and then you put marbles in and everyone pulls a stick out and it's how many marbles you get. You don't want the marbles. Kaplunk, it was a game from the 70s. So I'm imagining all these like bright blue electric bolts going through my head healing me how often did I do this three times a day for about ten minutes a day and I was doing this probably saying I am something I was doing that about ten thousand times a day so as I go to the toilet which is one event so overall about eight time, six or eight times a day so you go to the toilet you sit at the closet door you see the I am on the back of the door as you close it huh, you're sitting there Psh, hello I'm honest right I am healthy I am fit I am beautiful I am young I am bringing in all this health into my body you get up you flush your toilet you're washing your hands you look in the mirror I am gorgeous I am fit I am strong you look at yourself straight in the mirror and you say, you know what, Linda? I am beautiful. I am healthy. I am fit. I am strong. I am healthy. I am fit. I am healthy. I am healthy. I am healthy. So then I leave the bathroom and I go out and I'm starting to get dressed or do something. And as I'm doing that chore, I think, yeah, you know what, Linda? You are healthy. I am fit. I am strong. I am. I am. I am what I want to be. So then I get in the car and as I close the front door and I'm locking the door, I think, you know what, Linda? I am healthy. I am secure. I am fit. I am strong. And I'm walking to the car now. I am healthy. I am fit. I am strong. And then I put my hands around my head. I am this beautiful, big, white, loving, beautiful, white light of energy around me like Reiki. Now, if anyone out there says Reiki does not work, the only reason why it does not work is because the person receiving that energy does not believe that it works. Because this is all about making it believable to create it. And that's the magic of how this all works. I've seen people who go in for chemotherapy and they say, this isn't going to work. And they come out of there and they're wondering why they've still got cancer. Because their brain has made it not work. They don't believe it. I've seen people who go in for other medical procedures. Oh, this won't work. I'm still going to be sick. Because that person wants to live in that sickness. They want that sympathy. They want that support that comes from other people ringing them and saying, Oh, I know you're so not well today. Can I please come over and I'll help you? Because that's how they feel great about themselves. Because they can't fathom how to create that greatness within themselves. That's what victims do. So if you do see someone who's always constantly sick 
And when you talk to them, it's like, oh, I've got to go to the doctors today. And you say, oh, well, what can I do to help? That's actually entertaining their thoughts so then they don't want to get better because they're relying on you. It's like a codependency shivers thing happening where they feel good because everybody else is doing it for them. This work that I'm talking about today, no one else can do this for us. We have to do this for ourselves. So the more that you sit there and you say, right, I'm going to take ownership of my own health. I'm going to take ownership of who I am today. I'm going to make myself happy if I'm not happy. It's my responsibility if I'm unhappy with my own life. Wow. And as soon as you take that power and authority within yourself and you say, you know what? I am sick to death of having to rely on other people to do things for me. I'm going to start standing up and being this strong. I am going to be this strong, independent person who doesn't rely on other people because I will not be a victim anymore. How are you feeling? Because I'm feeling great. I feel so empowered now. And you know what? When we have this energy, which I'm getting now, oh my God, it's buzzing out of me. I can't get sick. Now, I'm going to tell you something very honestly, guys. Last night, I was feeling like my throat, it was like someone had a scarf around it and just ripping it like I was getting strangled. I was so sore. And I said to myself, I looked in my mirror in the bathroom and I looked in there and I said, you know what, Linda, you're not sick. Get that out of your head. You will not entertain that word. So don't even say it twice. That is now cast out. You are not doing it. You are healthy. You are fit. You are strong. You are what other people need to hear today. And then I put my hands up. I said, whatever's on my neck, I cast you out. You're not going to make me have no voice. I'm not going to let you have that control over me. I am someone who can vocalize my videos tomorrow. And by the way, I've just had a reading this morning as well. I spoke to someone on the on Zoom for half an hour. Why is my voice, voice not crackly right now? Because I will not allow it. Because I said to that lady I just spoke to, hello, you know who you are. Um, you live in Atlanta. <laughs> I know that part. Okay, in the USA. I'm not, I'm not going to disclose who that lady was. But she knows. Because I was just talking to her. Where's my voice going all crackly today? Because I've said it to its, I've told myself, I am not going to allow my voice to give out today. For my voice is a word of reason to so many. It is so needed. I am so valuable. I am so excited that I can be a benefit to other people where I get out there and teach this to people so you feel exactly how I'm feeling today. Nobody on the planet deserves to be any less than brilliance. And the only way we create that brilliance within is by changing our energy, which are atoms made of protons, electrons and neutrons. Which side of the fence do you want to be on, negative or positive? Because as soon as we charge all those positive reactions within ourselves we are a walking generator of all that energy that creates health now you know why i don't like pulling all this crud out of the cabinet i don't like showing people these because i say nick off i don't want any of that in my life i want to be healthy fit strong i want to be uh, i want to be out there as a voice to other people to say you can do this also the more we say it the more we create it the more our synaptic network within our brain creates it into our reality now one thing I said to this lady on the phone when I was talking to her on Zoom before, I said, go and research Emoto Mizuru, the guy who did all the water experiments. He spoke to water and then froze it. 
The words that he told were ugly, nasty, negative words. They went into yucky crystallizations. But the ones that he said, I love you to, all those waters particles, which are atoms made up of protons, electrons, and neutrons, they froze in beautiful formations of crystallized snowflakes. How does this work? Because it's now proven. Our words create our reality. The more we think positive, the more we compliment, the more we benefit ourselves first, it ripples out of us and creates that health loving environment for everybody. Let's go there. I mentioned Jesus before with religion. So it doesn't matter if you believe in Jesus, Muhammad, Buddha, Saint Mary, Teresa, all the other saints. When were they ever sick? They stood with thousands of people every day. They had all those sicknesses around them and contagious diseases, why were they never sick? Because they did not entertain that energy. They were in a higher vibration of pure love, unconditional love, where they knew that all illnesses and diseases live in these yucky lower vibrational states and they can't attach to us. Have you ever heard the, the saying, when the it hits the fan? Why does it hit the fan? Because the fan allows it to. When you put down that vibration and you say, I do not allow you to connect to me anymore. I do not allow you to enter into me. All that it simply falls away and the fan is sitting there as a beautiful loving being we all have the power within us to do this guys don't feel upset if it doesn't work we all have life paths we all have life contracts some of us are predestined to go through these things so don't blame yourself if it doesn't work. Don't hold on to animosities or regrets or grudges if it doesn't work. But at least today I've given you a chance and a hope that it will. Go out there and find your own way of doing this. You know, I just put my hands around me and I say, I am I love myself today with this big white energy ball around me. And then I visualize it as it rotates around me. This is another way I do it. So when my hand is sore, I sit there and I go, vroom, 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 like an MRI does, because I've had a lot of them. Remember, you saw the films. Vroom, 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 vroom. And I imagine this energy going around me and through me. And it's all healing, white and bright blue energy from God himself passing through me. So go out and make this your own. If you want further help, contact me. My email is below. If today this has helped you, please consider gifting me towards this development. Okay, I'm trying to replace my phone. <laughs> Good luck with that. <laughs> okay, so if it says has helped you today, return that energy because energy is always renewable and interchanging okay there's always an exchange of energy when good and bad imbalances itself so my gift jar is below my paypal link my books are below because in the back of five years in heaven my book about when i died the back half is all about raising our vibration up so we don't get sick so we do bring in all the greatness. Look at all the chapters I've got in here. Negative emotions and behaviours, how to get rid of them. Changing negativity into a positive. The mirror effect. Positive emotions, self-emotions, connecting with self. Raising your vibration techniques, daily affirmations, breathing techniques, how to meditate, how to pray techniques, 
It's all in my book. So the link, if you do want this, the link is below as well, Dover to Lulu. I actually say to people, buy the PDF version, take it over to your stationery supplier and print it. It's a lot cheaper than buying the actual book. I don't want you all to spend money. If you can't afford it, please email me and I'll send it over to you for free. I don't care. Because the more that we are living in a higher vibrational state and the more that we connect with others inter-energetically, the more we're getting through this war. Because that's what the last two years has been. They're cutting down our spiritualism. They don't want us connected. Why do you think we had all this stuff out there? couldn't stand next to our friends or hug them for two years so if we're trying to be a better person and we want to live in health we don't want to be a burden to others and we want to start healing ourselves try these two techniques that I've said today and I hope and pray that they work for you let me know my email is below how it works love is all now it's our job to just go out there and find it within ourselves right hope you all have a great day talk soon bye